In this video, I will provide a brief overview of the Journal Accountability Report option in Editorial Manager. The Journal Accountability Report is the primary report in Editorial Manager for all journals wishing to assess the overall performance of the journal. You may access reports from your editor main menu by clicking the reports link located under the administrative functions heading found at the bottom of this page. Please contact your journal manager if you do not see this link and require account privileges to access reports. Clicking on this eye icon will link editors to short videos published on the reporting options in Editorial Manager. Under Summary and Annual Reports, click on the Journal Accountability Report. Next, choose the data set that you wish to view, for example, Decision Summary or Reviewer Statistics. By default, all data sets will be included in the results page unless otherwise indicated. Next, click on the radio button next to the desired date range which can either be a fixed date range or customized dates. To customize your own date, please enter the date in month date year format. Results can be further limited on the article type or section category. To select multiple values on a PC, hold down to the control key on your keyboard and move around your mouse to select the desired items. If you are a Mac user, Hold down to the command key while using the mouse to select the desired items. If nothing in this list is selected, then no filter is applied for that parameter. Finally, click the submit button to view the results. The journal accountability report is divided into several data set sections and you can choose which one to include or exclude when running the report. Please note that the total number of submissions in each of these sections will be different. Submission Statistics This section gives the number of submissions and revisions received in the specified time period and the number of submissions and revisions that went through certain events such as submissions transferred, or submissions removed by the author or journal office or revisions requested during the time period. Total revisions received. This section includes revisions submitted by the author during the specified time period, no matter what was the original submission date or the revision request date. If the same manuscript went through two rounds of revision, in this time frame, it will be counted twice in this table. Journal Turnaround Time This section shows the time taken from original submission to reach several milestones within the defined time period. This is only for original submissions and not for revisions. Reviewer Statistics is divided into three parts. Reviewer Invitation Statistics, Reviewer Performance Averages, and Reviewer Recommendation Summary. Reviewer Invitation Statistics gives overall counts of reviewers invited during the time period and the outcome of those invitations. Reviewer Performance Averages gives key turnaround times and other statistics mostly for reviews completed in the specified time period and reviewer recommendation summary counts the total number and frequency of each reviewer recommendation term submitted by reviewers in the specified time period. Decision summary counts submissions where the final editor in the chain, that is the editor with final decision authority, made a decision during the time period. It does not include anything where one editor made a decision during the time period but the final editor's decision was made later. Summary of Correspondence History This counts all letters sent in the specified time period based on the letter's name. 
If the report results are not what you expected, please click on the Back to Journal Accountability Report to go back to the report parameters and make any adjustments as needed. This is how you run the Journal Accountability Report in Editorial Manager. Please visit the Journal Article Publishing Support Center should you require further information. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.